Hey, hello, Guru. Ah, huh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Guru, what 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 is the session today, and what what are we learning? Uh, today's session is about uh, the interfaces in C sharp. Uh huh. Okay. So, so I'm going to take a session on interfaces. Okay. So let me start the session. Okay. Friends, uh, myself, Guru, and. Uh, Today I am going to take a session on interfaces in C Sharp. If you have any query, you can mail me. That is this email address. That is Guru Matrix 2004 at the rate gmail dot com. Okay. So let me start the session today. Yes. So, okay. Interfaces. So interfaces in C Sharp. The interface. Yeah. Guru, your voice is coming very low. I am sorry. Okay, okay. Okay. So yes, I am audible now. Yes, I can hear yes. clearly. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So interfaces, interfaces in C sharp is only provides the signatures of uh, methods, properties. It pro. Let me just write this interface only provides the Signature, signature of that is methods, properties, mm -hmm. de uh, delegates and events. So when we say signatures, means only the method names yes. or delegate names. You know, only the vocabulary you are seeing, right? Yes. yes okay. Yes. Signature means uh, yeah, the, with the no implementation means it has no implementation. It only provides a signature. Let me show you just uh, an example like this. Uh, I have an interface. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To to define it uh, to define an interface, you have to use a, a keyword interface. Okay. The, okay. Something like this. And a, a simple void uh, method like this. Mm -hmm. So this is um, this is how you create uh, you de you define a signature in the interface. Okay. 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 Now the <coughs> yes, you can. Uh, okay. The main advantages of uh, of using interface is that. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me just clear the implementation part also. You yeah. create a. Uh, ha. Yes. In the interface, you can define a signature of a method, properties, uh, method properties, delegates, events, or indexers. Okay. The implementation is done in the in the class. The implementation part is done in the in the class only. The class which is implemented by this interface. Okay. The class which implement this in this interface or or any interface. The implementation is done in the. Uh, In the class, okay, okay, yes, okay. and uh, by default interfaces are public. Okay, means uh, you cannot uh, means it is unnecessary to give uh, means you cannot uh, give a private access modifier to the interface because okay. you have to call you have to inherit that uh, methods and all that. So by default it's public. <laughs> this is public, as you can see. This is public by default. It so how how do we, how do we implement the interface first thing? Yes. Means, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's very simple. Means you have to define a keyword that is interface. No, no. The, I mean in the class, right? Now this is you have to create an interface. But how do I take it in the class now? Okay. I have a nice example. If you want, I can show that example because. Ah, uh, yeah. At, uh, uh, go with your own pace, Guru. You don't have to. I just must be that I can I can get clarified later on. But you can go with your own pace, whatever it is. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. 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 So. This is how the basically you create the interface using a keyword interface and give the interface name and define a signature in this loop, so, uh, the interface loop. Okay. The main advantages of having an interface using a interface in a software architecture that it gives a flexibility. Okay. It gives a reusability. Means with the with the use of same interface name, same interface object, you can call a multiple classes. And and their multiple uh, methods and properties, you can access them. 
by using the interface it is a it is something a way to achieve a runtime polymorphism also is it is a, some kind of a certain way to achieve a runtime polymorphism okay i will show you what what i mean i have a nice example for that also okay mm-hmm. uh, so see, well, because what i understand is you said reusability right reusability we always we already do by using classes in other words yes. you know, yeah oh. so yeah yeah go ahead go ahead yes, guru but, I, I, but, but yeah. you cannot uh, but you cannot plug and play that uh, that thing no means okay. you cannot change your uh, entity entity every time means whatever you want means for example now you have a uh, now you have a customer mm-hmm. hello yeah yeah go ahead now go you ahead. Ha- this let me show you the example so that uh, you get a clear idea for that yeah go ahead yeah yes so this is my simple uh, windows form application i created a pr- uh, product uh, product price okay mm-hmm. for a, uh, for a general customer it has some discount for gold customer it has some kind of discount for silver customer some kind of discount likewise mm-hmm. a platinum customer is also having a some discount okay when when we calculated when we when i click on the calculate button it will it will throw up the discounted price whatever the discounted is there for different uh, different kind of customers okay like general customer gold customer silver customer platinum customer okay for that for that i have created a interface mm-hmm. the simple interface that is public interface i customer okay mm-hmm. and i declare the two signature that is one is discount name a property and second one is a calculate discount okay mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. with the uh, input price okay mm-hmm. because we need a uh, inputted pri- price from here also because from this text okay. box okay Okay, so in other words, you know, it takes the price, and depending on the price, it calculates the discount. It calculates like. the discount. Yes, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Every customer has a different kind of uh, discounted uh, means offer. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. So this is my uh, two signatures, which I define in the I customer. What I done my in my next step, I created a class that is normal customer, mm-hmm. and I just inherited my interface that is I customer to this normal class. Okay. Now, what this normal class have to do? it has to give the implementation for the signature which i created in the i customer okay okay so this is the advantages means a uh, 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 architect or software architect can create an interface and he can ask his class developers mm-hmm. to implement that uh, interface which he has created mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. For, uh, to force them that to give the implementation for those uh, signature which has which he has created in this in that interface okay okay Oh, oh, I'm just sorry. Yeah, oh yeah, fine. Must be you can just decline him. Yeah, okay. Yes. So yes. Uh, okay. So this is how uh, I had just uh, in- inherited my I customer to the normal customer class. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what the normal customer uh, normal customer class have to do? Mm-hmm. It has to give me the implementation of both this both signature implementation. Okay. For mm-hmm. example, if I take this out mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. if i just do build it will show me up the error okay. that is does not implement the implement the interface member that is calculate this so in other yes. words in other words you know basically you know by providing a interface the one thing is that you know all the classes have to forcibly use that method okay yes yes so yes. the developers also do not forget that okay like for example now you can see there is a normal customer here and if you let's say that he forgets to put calculate discount we are gone right we yes, have a yes. class customer without a calculate discount okay i got it okay yes so this is the advantages of having a in to having interface in, in the in the software okay okay so in, in software. other words you know enforcing uh, that you know certain methods are implemented in your child classes or in in yes. certain classes yeah okay mm-hmm. yes okay. yes so okay so now the rest is very simple that i have created a simple discount name a fsd offer of 5% discount for the normal customer and just uh, i calculate my discount here okay mm-hmm. Yes, this is my discounted calculation. Likewise, I have created a different classes for this gold customer, silver customer, and platinum customer. I will just show you. This is my silver customer class. Mm-hmm. Let me just uh, yes. This is my normal customer. This is my silver customer, mm-hmm. which has a twelve percent of discount, okay. and uh, gold customer has twenty percent of discount. The class and the met- Yes, everything is same. Only the the calculate discount is varying as per the type yes. of the customer. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> okay. And the platinum customer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me just build. Yes. Succeed. Yes. 
now the beauty of the having a interface is what i what i said before it is used like a plug and play like a uh, like a plug and play like a architecture means what i mean that plug and play means how it will achieve a runtime polymorphism in a runtime polymorphism you have a you, you, you have first in, uh, inheritance hmm. in the class level then you plug and play that thing with with, with your parent class this is also a bit similar not similar but we can achieve that runtime polymorphism also in a certain way okay so you yes i have cre- this is my interface that is i customer mm-hmm. i have created the object here mm-hmm. and during the initialization mm-hmm. i just during the initialization just uh, cre- pointed to my normal customer mm-hmm. so that okay. i won't get any any kind of error mm-hmm. when i click on this radio buttons yeah okay. radio buttons yes I'll, I just create. I just uh, initiate to my normal customer, or to gold customer, or to silver or platinum. Customer, okay. Customer okay. Platinum. So in other words, depending on you know the option button he is going to click, you know the customer classes objects will be assigned to the interface. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. So in other words, the interface is can now point towards any of its implemented classes. Any of its implemented classes and the and interface can use uh, whatever method has been implemented, whatever properties has been implemented means. it can use means right. a single right. interface can point to the multiple uh, multiple classes multiple implementation yeah yes. you know what guru must be if we if we take the ex- what what it looks to me summarizing is that mm-hmm. you know your interface can point towards any of its classes so in other words you just look at the interface you are not worried now back end you know you have a gold customer or a platinum customer or now because you know your you just look interface more generic now yes yes okay. yes yes so if you okay got it got it yes yeah the the, the best example i think uh, uh, having a a multiple database mm-hmm. like oracle having oracle database having a, a sql database having a my uh, mdb mdf database mm-hmm. that is a microsoft access database mm-hmm. that would be a be- best example means you have a a connection you have a cl- you create a class for the oracle mm-hmm. you create a class for sql you create a class for microsoft access mm-hmm. and create a single interface any time um, means you can point that interface to any of the those databases means you can have uh, if a customer if a client says no i will use an oracle database you have to just go to point to the oracle database okay so in other words we are saying that basically just have a i data access layer or something and then yes. point towards you know different kind of database implementation okay yes. right so in other words you know summarizing uh, you know what we are saying is that interface one is uh, as you said previously that it enforces that certain methods are used in the classes and the one the second one which you pointed toward me is the runtime polymorphism you know where you just look at that interface and you don't worry what is the backend class yes okay yes um yes let me just uh, let me just uh, show you the output okay mm mm-hmm. yeah I'll just put a break point here yeah i'll just run this i'll put a product price something 2500 i will say gold customer a gold customer is having 20% of discount so it will go inside okay it is invoking the gold customer now yes yes gold customer and uh, it will calculate whatever the amount mm-hmm. and it will give you the answer yes okay fine. this is the discounted price okay okay got it so in other words depending on what type of customer you know it actually the interface will point accordingly to the child classes or not child classes i'll say implemented classes because implemented. uh interfaces i think you know they do not uh, get inherited you know they get implemented you yes. know like abstract classes when we say they get inherited okay yes. so okay yeah yeah thanks thanks a lot guru you know uh, so this was guru here and we today we were trying to learn basically you know what exactly is interfaces and how to use them in projects thank you yes yes, yes thank you thank thanks, you thanks thanks a lot